Hi, my name is Myra Kagete and welcome to a new English tutorial video. May pagkakaiba nga ba ang already at already bukod sa spelling nila? Yan ang ituturo ko sa inyo sa video na ito. Listen carefully because there will be a quiz at the end of the video. Umpisahan natin sa already na ganito kung isulat. Ang already na ganito kong isulat ay isang two-word phrase that means completely or fully prepared. Kapag ang isang tao o ang mga tao sa isang grupo halimbawa ay already, ang ibig sabihin niyan, sila ay handang-handa na para sa isang bagay o handang-handa ng gawin ang isang bagay. For example, I hope you are all ready for the interview. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, sana kayong lahat ay handang-handa na para sa interview. Pwede ninyong palitan ng fully prepared or completely prepared yung already na yan. For example, I hope you are fully prepared for the interview. Or I hope you are completely prepared for the interview. Pwede nyo rin sabihin all set. I hope you are all set for the interview. Magkapareho lang yung already at all set. We are all ready for the party. Pwede nyo rin sabihin we are completely prepared for the party. O kaya, we are fully prepared for the party. Pwede rin, we are all set for the party. Ganun lang kadali. Kapag ang phrase na already ay pwede ninyong palitan ng completely prepared. O kaya naman, fully prepared. O all set, ibig sabihin, ginagamit ninyo o sinusulat ninyo ng tama yung already sa inyong sentence. Now, let's talk about already na ganito kung isulat. Ang already naman na ganito kong isulat ay isang adverb. It is used to talk about something that has happened in the past or before a certain time. For example, I've already finished the project. Ibig sabihin niyan, nagawa ko na o natapos ko na yung project. Obviously, we're talking about something that has happened in the past. Tapos na. Nagawa na. I've already replied to your message. Ibig sabihin niya, nakapag-reply na ako sa message mo. Ito ay isang action o isang bagay na tapos na. It is also used to talk about an event that has happened sooner than expected. For example, he's only 10 years old but he has already driven a car. So it's earlier than expected, di ba? Kasi ang sampung taong gulang na bata, karaniwan ay hindi pa nakakapag-drive ng sasakyan or ng kotse. But this kid has already driven a car, kahit na siya ay sampung taong gulang pa lang. Already is also used to show surprise about something that has happened earlier than we expected. Halimbawa, ikaw ay uh, nanonood ng mga videos sa TikTok, hindi mo namalayan yung oras. Pagkatapos tumingin ka sa iyong orasan at nakita mong alas 12 na pala ng hating gabi. So you say, it's 12 o'clock already. So, hindi mo inaasahan na alas 12 na pala ng hating gabi. Kapag nagsusulat na kayo ng sentences at hindi kayo sigurado kung already ba na dalawang words or already na isang word ba ang dapat ninyong isulat, just ask yourselves, ang ibig ko bang sabihin ay fully prepared or ready? Kapag ang sagot ay oo, then use already na dalawang words. Kapag hindi naman, yung one word lang na already ang isulat nyo. Now, are you ready for the quiz? Let's start! Complete the following sentences using already or already. Number one, I can't believe you are turning 18. Already or already. The answer is already, one word. Number two, are you sure you are for this already or already? The answer is already, two words. Number three, it's hard to believe they are getting married. They just met two months ago. Already or already? The answer is already, one word. Number four, why are you giving up? We've just started. Well, I guess you're not for this. Already, two words and already one word, or already one word, and already two words. The 
The answers are already, one word, and already, two words. Number five, it's time to go. I'm not to go. Already two words and already one word or already one word and already two words. The answers are already one word and already two words. Kung meron kayong natutunan ng bago sa video na ito, please don't forget to click the like button, share this with your friends. You can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you to Cedric Gakuan for always watching my videos and leaving comments on my videos. I would also like to say thank you to Doc Zyvan Ivaro Tabangkura of Dentalica Dental Clinic for taking care of my teeth. I'll see you again next time. Bye!